Hey guys, it's Half I am back again and I am filming an update, update number three, for my year-long project pan roulette with some other lovely ladies who came from Ladies Who Collab but that is now called Beauty and Blab, I believe. But I'll link them down below anyway. Uh, so there's Connie and Zoma and I think there's a couple of other people, can't remember off the top of my head. So this is the third update for this. We started in November. We started with uh, 15 products and as we finished off we have been pulling out new ones to put in. So first of all I'll go through the stuff that I had already finished before um, today. So the um, I had put down this uh, Pond's BB cream last time as basically being close to being finished and so I had pulled another one for it and I think I still have one more use in it and I've used it actually quite a bit. Um, I learned a trick off of um, Amber F who learned it off somebody else where you put air into it and then you shake it like this and you get more product out. Um, but it really is like coughing and spluttering now so um, yeah. It's, it's just finished. It's, it's finished. <laughs> the next one was the e.l.f. lip exfoliator. It's just one of the first things I finished. It's all gone. Um, the face product that I used up was the Nivea Night Cream. Looks like that. Um, the product that smells good was the Suki Exfoliator, which was in this container, which I have since depotted something else into. Um, and the body care product, or well, the body product was the Urban Skin Care Co. Um, infused Body Balm. So since then I have finished another item and I have also decided to declutter one of the items because I really don't like it. I don't think my skin was liking it either. So um, so the one that I'm getting rid of, um, that my skin really just, it, I mean I use quite a bit in this project um, and it's it's down here somewhere. I've, I've used at least half of this and it was pretty cheap anyway. This is the liquid face primer from Kmart. Um, I have a feeling this is one of the things that my skin was reacting to and I didn't like it enough to actually keep on using it finding out if that's what it was. So I am getting rid of that one. So I'll draw another one for that one. And the other one is the item that you will always reuse, uh, always repurchase, which was the Manicare Cuticle Oil. You can see it is completely done. I even turned it upside down to like get the last little bit out of it. It was fine as a cuticle oil. It wasn't either good or bad. It was just fine. So, so on to the things that I have not finished yet. The bronzer. This is the Avon Arabian Glow Bronzing Pearls. I don't know if you can tell any progress, but I do use these quite a bit. Um, it's one of those products that you're really not going to notice until there's only like one layer of little pearls instead of like two layers. I think there was three layers originally, so. Uh, the product that you'd only buy on sale, this is my Sesh Vite top coat. Um, so the starting point was up here and we're now down here started painting my nails a bit more often so I'm moving through that I'm, I'm needing to refill my little container a little bit more often so that one's making progress the oldest blush to hit pan I've actually started using this one a lot more this is the Maybelline wild blossom um, I started using this because I hit pan on the one that was in my other project so the dome is starting to get flattened out a little That one's going to take ages. Um, highlighter to hit pan. I use this quite a bit, but you wouldn't know. Because it looks exactly the same. And this is repressed, so you'd think it would move a bit faster. But it looks exactly the same as it always has. 
Um, a product that cost less than $10 was my BYS. Um, oh, by the way, that is the Natio um, Bronze Enhancer. Um, I don't think I can say that at any time. So this is the BYS HD Micro Finish Powder. Um, this one is pretty close to being done. I was there when I started, and now I'm down there. Maybe a bit lower than my line, but um, I think another month, and that one will be done. Might be done sooner. I'm not sure. Um, the coloured eyeliner was the Rimmel Scandalize in bright blue. Um, I forgot to mark this one, and that is because it doesn't look any different. <laughs> So its line is still about there. It's a tiny bit lower, but not low enough to actually um, bother making a new mark on that one. It needs sharpening, but I haven't sharpened it. Uh, Face Mist was the Australis Makeup Finishing Spritz. I love this stuff. I bought another bottle of it the other day. Because <laughs> that's where we are now. I was up there when we started, and now I'm down there. So this is like another month and that one will be done. Um, the hair product is the Eleven Miracle Hair Treatment. I finally managed to work out where I am on this. So I'm actually down there. Um, these lines might have actually been wrong. But this is where I am now so I'm not sure how much longer that is going to take me the sparkly product is the lip gloss from Cargo in Sahara um, I haven't used it quite as much this month but that's where I am now uh, the product from Shop Miss A is the clean colour lipstick in sealed secret I honestly don't think that this has actually moved nope it doesn't look like it's moved so the clean color lipstick is still around about there it might be down a little tiny bit but I think I've only used it once in the last month so uh, last time I added in um, a favourite highlighter to hit pan, so I have two highlighters in this project. Um, this is the Lorac Perfectly Lit Luminous, which looks like that. I've probably only used this once or twice. Oops, I'm trying to hit pan in the other one first um, before I focus on this one. So. That one doesn't really have much progress. And the other thing I added in last time was a product you always love when you use it. And that was this eyeshadow here in this LA Colors um, Blushing Nudes. Excuse my dog and the person who just started the animal. Um, there is a... starting to get a dent in the middle. So that is that one there. So I am going to light. I am going to pull out two new products from my little box here to replace the cuticle oil and the face primer. You can see all my little card things. So one and two. So we have an expensive makeup product and we have an eye cream. So I will go and find something and then I will be back. Okay guys, I'm back although no time passed for you. So for the eye cream, I am putting in the Natural Instinct dark circle and wrinkle correction eye cream and I am right about there so I'll 
just grab my little trusty marker. Close enough. We're about there. So, adding that one in for the expensive makeup product, I am putting in this Inika primer. This retails for like $65 or something. I got it in a um, subscription box. I've never used it. I have no idea what it's like. I don't even know what it looks like. Okay, so it's just a fairly basic face primer. So that is going to be my expensive item. So that is it for update number three of the year-long Project Pan collab. I will link the other ladies down below as always. If you want to see more of my stuff then you can click the subscribe button. Make sure you click the bell so that you get notified because YouTube's weird. Uh, leave me a thumbs up if you like Project Pan type videos and leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments and I'll see you in my next video. See ya!